Afternoon viewers, welcome to Thucker TV's live coverage and we're trying to stream it but we're having a few problems and this is uh, the second main game on the day, it's two pupper in the black and white and uh, TKV's made a re-emergence into the competition after two or three years and they're a good club and they won the comp three years in a row, I think it was 14, 15 and 16 or something like that but it's a composite team and let's hope they go alright and two pupper as everybody knows they're our champion side and We'll see how it all turns out. And they've lost the ball. There's a knock on. Beautiful afternoon in sunny downtown Rarotonga. It's probably 25, 26 degrees. There's not much breeze blowing. There's a good cloud cover. The field's in excellent condition, and it always is over here. And it's a credit to the Heather family. They put a lot of money into this place, and it's the mecca for football over on the, oh, the uh, western side of the island. But uh, Papa Moore's our referee. But we we had the live stream up early, but then we've lost it. But that's all due to our uh, communications company, and we can't control that. But we had it all set up, and then we've lost the picture. But it will come on eventually. Dave's upstairs trying to organise it all, and hopefully we can get it on. We got another game after this one, and that's going to be Arangi. Arangi and Arbitu. Arbitu had a default win last week because the combined team, Tucky Tumu, didn't turn up. They didn't even let anybody know they weren't going to turn up. It's very disappointing. But we got four good teams and TKV's got a penalty. They put it down low and they're about halfway out, halfway mark. And uh, I hope Two Papa don't take this game too lightly because... Uh, there's a lot of good players out there for um, TKV. They all want to have a game and they've come from different clubs and they've put it together and they're just hoping for a good performance. And they're playing the best team on, in the competition at the moment. Um, the Panthers have won the last three union competitions and they've probably won the last two or three league competitions. They're a very professional team. And as you well know, they've got a lot of Fijians out there and when things work they're electrifying and they've, they've got a few players missing but the Panthers have got the ball they're running it. Oh, good tackle 40 metres out Papa Moore's in charge he refereed the game last week had a good game and he's picked up a knock on so it's going to be a TKV scrum and feed 35 metres out from the Panthers try line sometimes the Panthers are very slow to start and you can get them early but we'll see how it all turns out. I haven't got a team sheet for um, TKV, so I can't help you there. But I don't want to put too much pressure on them. They've got, got enough problems trying to get a team out there and get a little bit of coordination. But they've got a lot of, got a lot of reserves and they're nearly all forwards. And they've got a good, good setup out there. Big push, big push by the Panthers and they're pushing them back. And that's got to be a penalty. Not straight to push. The big push by the Panthers, but they push the scrum sideways, so he's obliged to give TKV a penalty. And if TKV could put the first points on the board, it would put the cat amongst the pigeons. But while they're taking this tap, we got got... Um, Cook Island General Transport, our main sponsor for these games. Oh, 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 big hit, big solid hit. And that's what was lacking last week with the Panthers. Their timing was out and they've had one game and they've lost the ball, TKV. They're over the top. It should come back for the Panthers. And they'll be a lot better for their run last week. There's the kick, deep kick. Oh, it's knocked it down. So it's either a knock-on or it's gone out, depending what the referee wants to rule here. But I just hope the Panthers put on a show. We've got a big crowd here. And they're an exciting team, the Panthers. If you want to see the game played at speed, this is a team to watch. So it's a, it's a line-out by the look of things. Beautiful afternoon here. Sun's out, it's quite hot actually. It's shorts and jandal weather. 
been a big tap back. It's put the Panthers back on their heels. But here they go. See, they love throwing the ball around. They're going to give it to Junior on the wing. Junior's off. Junior's a good footballer. He'll go. Forward pass. Junior was off. They wouldn't have caught him. Good footballer, Junior. He's played half back, 5 8, centre, wing, hooker. Play anywhere. And he's from Latoka. I think he calls it the Latoka Dragons, but the people in Fiji will know who I'm talking about. But he's a lovely young bloke, too. Very humble. So we've got a scrum going down 30 metres out from the Panthers try line. And I thought we were going to see some excitement from the Panthers end, but it was a forward pass. Papa Moore's very good at picking them up. And as you know, a forward pass is governed by the way you release the ball. It can go forward as long as you use a backward motion. Big push again from the Panthers. The TKB's held on. Ball out wide. Great tackle. Great tackle. You're going to take a quick tap. No, no, no. He's number nine. He's an old mate of mine, Jason. He's from the Panthers. But TKB's put a team together, which is good. And it gives us four good teams in the competition. The only problem I got with this whole game is the referee's got a red shirt on, the Lions people have got a red shirt on, and TKB have got 15 red shirts out there, and they've got to do something about it. <coughs> and there's Johnny. Big John's going to throw to a line out, and I, and I bet you $20 he goes to Tom at number two. In we go. Not straight, the calls comes from the players, and that's not from the referee. But they try and con the referee, and the referees aren't going to cop that. But this looks like it's going to be a real running game of football, this one. It's gone out. Still a bit of rust, but at least they're not putting the ball on the ground, which is good. And Papa Moore had a trivia game last week because it was a mucky game, and he got most of it all right, and it went all right. And we had a couple of Fijian tries right at this finish of the game, which got the Panthers away. And the next game will be Arbitu and uh, Ararangi, and that'll be a cracking game too. And we got four good teams. And just what I've seen here with the TKB, they're going to measure up because this is their first hit out for two or three years. And they're going all right so far. But it's like the All Blacks. The game is in two halves, and... TKB, you've got to be careful if they hold the Panthers in the first half, can they hold them in the second half? And that's always the problem. TKB ball, slow ball, and there's the big kick. Nobody's home, but that's the sort of football that the Panthers like. There's a kick off the side of a boot. They're chasing it. Oh, good take. They're after the ball, the Panthers. They've got them down on the halfway mark. And there could be a Panther ball here. No, the TKB's retained it. Got the ball out. Beautiful afternoon. If you're in New Zealand, it's raining and wet. Just look at how the people, the, the players are sweating. The crowd's in shorts and jandals and T-shirts and sun hats. And here we go. This is where the Panthers are dangerous. These Fijians, a kick over the top. They've got to get hold of it. Great take, great take. But the Panthers are all over it and they've come up with a ball. And here we go again. Here we go. This is Ben. Ben's off. Great tackle through a silly pass. But sometimes they come off and I don't mind him throwing them because it's exciting when you see him doing that. And TKB's off again. And I think this will test out TKB's fitness this half. The ball's out, right, or oh, 40 metres out from TKB's uh, try line. And I just want to thank our special sponsor, Malcolm Sword and his team at Cook Island General Transport. If you ever need anything done, 
on this island or even to go to you from different places, they'll organise it all. Just give them a call. Very obliging and they can get anything done. Whatever you want done, give them a call and they'll look after you. And the, the big uh, company here on this part of the island is T&M Heather and they looked after this field and they've turned it into a, a great, great football field. The clubhouse is over there, you can see it. It's good, bit of push and shove there, nothing silly. And the Heathers have done a tremendous job here and you can see on the left when the camera pans around, they've got the netball set up and this is a real showcase for us here. And we're only a small island, we've only got 10,000 people on the island, but this is a real good venue, this one. Long kick, hasn't gone out, and here we go. The Panthers love spreading this ball out wide. And they've kicked it for the winger. There's a play on, and he's over the ball. It should be a penalty that the Panthers, they've got the ball. Oh, I don't agree with that. He should have done that to the Panthers in the first instance. But he's let the advantage go and the TKB's come up with a penalty. They've kicked it out. They're on the 30 metre out from the Pampers try line. And they look like they're struggling a little bit, TKB, but they'll get better with the run. No doubt about that. A couple of old veterans out there, a couple of players from the Bulldogs and a couple of players from the Sea Eagles and and they got themselves a team, which is the important part for us. This man throwing the ball, I don't know his name, but he's a Bulldog player, number 11, <coughs> and he just wanted to play football. <coughs> Tom's interfered with the, no, it was Zizzy. They're into it, scrapping for the ball. Another penalty to TKB, and these panels are keeping them in the game. Going to kick the goal. I reckon if they can get first points on the board, they'll be in front somewhere in this game. So it's 40 metres out right in front, and the kicker is probably Daniel Toe from the, uh, the Sea Eagles, uh, although it doesn't look like him. But I haven't got a team sheet, so I can't help you. He'll take his time, give his players a rest. But he's got to make sure it goes dead. It's that way they get the ball from the kickoff. Beautiful afternoon in sunny downtown. I'm actually sweating. And the middle of winter, that's good. Is the live stream working, Dave? No. No. Sorry about the live stream, but Dave's working hard up there while he's filming the game. Yeah, it looks like Daniel kicking. His mum's here, but she's got a boy playing in the red team. She's got a boy playing in the black and whites. And that's how it is over here. Up it goes. Beautiful kick. Never look like missing. And TKB in their return to our competition are leading 3-0, Dave. 3-0 to the red team. But the next game will be a very intense game because a lot of history between Ararangi and uh, Arbachu. And Arbachu would be pretty dirty about missing out on a game last week. And here we've got them lined up here. We've got big John Varno, who's playing outside centre. Johnny, you're the outside centre, John. Right, here we go. Referee says, let's go. They're offside off the kickoff. They're after the ball. And they've pushed them out of the way. Junior's come up with the ball and they won't get him. Good football, Junior. But I must say, 
there's a red player taken out of a play and uh, made it a lot easier for the Panthers, but that makes it 5-3 in the Panthers' favour, and that's what you've got to be careful of with these Panther players. You've only got to make one mistake and they'll, they'll get you. And the man who scored the try, Junior, is a great little footballer. 5-3, Dave. Yeah, no, if you can't, don't worry about it, mate. He's trying very hard to get the live stream going, but sometimes the planets haven't lined up. We had it going early, and then we lost it, but that's from the communication company here. This looks like Folletti kicking for goal. Oh no, it's Jojo. He's just come into the team from the reserve grade team from last year. They won the comp. Up it goes and it's over. 7-3. In one game he kicked 10, 10 out of 10 and I thought this is going to be great watching this guy and then the next week he kicked 4 out of 10. But that's a good start for him. One out of one, but out in front, but it'll give him a good boost of confidence because this is his second game in first grade. And it's very hard to come in with, into the premiership team and be a star because they've got a lot of stars out there. But TKB won't fall back. They'll keep pushing away. I've spoken to a lot of the players. They're very keen to do well here today. Now, I think if they could hold Panthers to a reasonable score, they, they'd call that a win, Nelly. Up they go, nice and high. Tom's up, been well taken. Got the ball out the back door. His junior's off again. Got the ball, oh, he's off. Oh, that's a little bit, that's a little bit high. That's, that's a big shot, that one. And I, like I'm a great believer, that should be in the sin bin and you won't have any more. But now the Panthers are going to say, oh, well, they got one on us, we'll get one on them. And that's the mentality of footballers. So 7-3, Panthers ball, 30 metres out from the TKV try line. And the bloke who got hit with a high tackle, Junior, he just shake his head and keep going. He don't worry about it. He's moved into 580, so that's his normal position. Up they go. Panthers missed it. The Reds have come up with the ball. They're all over the top. TKB ball. Everybody's complaining. The referee's got his flag up. So the referee's deemed to go forward. The Panthers ball, and here's trouble. Here's trouble if they've gone out. The linesman on this side's on the field, so the referee is going to have to, yeah, he's blown the whistle, so he's going to come over and have a little chat to the linesman. But you've got to pull up foul play, because if you don't, it just gets worse, and it gets into a real bad situation, especially here, because... These, these gentlemen mostly are Islanders and they're very hot-headed. But the referees ignored the linesmen, so we'll just go on with the game. Boy, it's hot. It's like a summer's day. Up they go. Good win to the Panthers. And here they come. They're over the top. Panthers ball has gone nowhere. But there's trouble out here because we've got all these Fijians. A big run, big dummy. Still another dummy. I fell for both of them. But the TKB's over the top and they'll get a penalty. Come back. That's the problem with the Panthers. They're very fast. 
and they will take an inch if you give them a mile or maybe the other way around. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. So we're 10 metres out, line out. The ref's given a few little hints on what's going wrong out there. And this is where the Panthers are dangerous. If they can get clean ball, these Fijians will be running to the corner on the other side and somebody will come back on an angle and they'll split you open. Up they go. Panther ball, good clean ball. TKB are into the, the, the mall. They're not far out from the try line. They're going to try and rumble it up, the Panthers. Yeah, the calls come from the centres. Don't do that. Use it straight away. We've got stars in the back line. Give them the ball. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking as a Panther supporter. And I hope um, Peter Winchester down there at Hut City Radio is listening in. Sorry about the live stream, but it's just not working at the moment. And Tupo. And we've got people in... Southland working down there, Cook Islanders in Wellington and in Auckland. And I wish we could just get the live stream for them because they love their football. But the scrum's all over the place. The referee's gonna, he's given an advantage to the red team. A penalty to the red team. They've done well, t TKB at the moment, but it's whether they can do this in the second half. Hey, mate. He's 15 years tour. He's a star in his own right. If you can get the ball, you'll see what he can do. See, they're talking in Fiji and they say, get the ball out. Here they go. They've got the speed. Oh, clean drop. And that was going to be something special for the viewers because they had a set move there and they put the ball down. But a 7-3, and early in the first half, this one, long way to go. Scrum going down 40 metres out from the TKV try line. And uh, TKV's got a big pack of forwards, but the Panthers are very mobile, and they've shown that for years, every time they play, they're the unsung heroes, in my opinion, for the Panthers. The backline people score the tries, but the Panthers forwards always do the job. So we've got a scrum going down. It's a red scrum and feed. They're on 40 metres out from their own try line. And the left-hand winger over here is dropping back because he thinks they might kick the ball. Beautiful afternoon in sunny downtown Rarotonga. It's beautiful to be alive today. Well, it's good to be alive every day, but it's a beautiful day here. And our next game is probably, probably start about half past four, and it will probably be in darkness, but it's a great afternoon of rugby union, if you like your football here in Rarotonga. Big push on by the Reds, but the Pampers put the power on, and nobody's moving, but a lot of grunting. Out it comes, kick over the top, and that's what Junior was waiting for. He knew they were going to kick the ball. So we're going to line out. It's going to be a black throw in. It's 40 metres out from TKB's try line. Big John's coming over to make the call. Number one is Lua. They normally throw to Tom in the headgear. He normally jumps at two or three. And he's very reliable. Captain Courageous, I call him. And he's not even the captain anymore. But he's a great footballer for a great stalwart.
Right, here we go. Ball in. That's to Izzy. Big, long, wide ball. Here they go. This is Tua. He's a hard man to stop, but they got hold of him in the middle. They hold him up. He's, they're telling him to go down. Offside. Picked it up from an offside position, but Tua should have went down to the ground, but he tried to stand up. So TKB is doing all right here. They're 40 metres out. They've got a penalty and a 7-3, and they're doing all right. Now we're 40 metres out from the Pampas try line. It's a throw to TKV. But it's a matter of whether they can um, do this sort of thing in the second half. But they look a little bit weary to me. They've got it all set up. The Panthers, they're going to try and pinch this ball. Up they go. Tom's up. It's too far. Not straight. That's that's a bad fault, that one. But it was way off course, that one. But if you put enough pressure on the line out, you can force the throw to throw it not straight. John Varno, number 19, a veteran for the Panthers. He should throw it straight down the middle. It's to Tom. No, it was Dizzy. Dizzy, oh, bad kick. That's from Jojo. Good, good, solid tackle from the Panthers. That's um, Tomasi. Tomasi in the headband. He's a good footballer, very tough. Doesn't make too many mistakes in his game. And... Um, TKB are looking good here, they're 25 metres out. They've got a good roll on. Out they go. Bad pass. Slowed everything up. That's Tomasi again. He's got the head there. It's a big run down the middle. Oh, ankle taps brought him down. 10 metres out. Is there a big chance, TKB? Get the ball out. Oh. They've got a man overlap out here, way out wide. They've got three men out wide. It's gone out wide. But the speed of the Panthers, they cover up the weaknesses very quickly. You've got to pass the ball fast to beat them. Good defence in the middle. Another penalty to TKB, and the penalties are keeping them in the game. They're 20 metres out, and they probably should kick for goal. 7-3. Points available. If it's Daniel Toa, he could he'd have these for breakfast, these kicks. But seven three, kick to come. And over in the background. That's Harbachu warming up. And they're the next game and uh our rangy be at the other end. They've gone for the line. We've got a line out, 10 metres out. They've got to get this right, TKV, and they'll be right down on the try line. Seven threes to score. Waiting for the line out. They've got to get it right. They're going to go deep, way down the back. It's been pinched by the Panthers, and this is trouble. This is trouble. Here's some speedsters coming your way. Oh. That was a that was a good break for the red team. Long pass, couldn't handle it. So we've got a scrum going down, 20 metres out, it's gonna be a red scrum and feed. Game's very close, but this game will be won in the second half. It depends on who plays the better in the second half. Good clean game so far. 
No rubbish. You can hear the call. Sets the call. Ball's in. Big push. Going to reset it. Uh, TKB is doing all right for their first game for, I think, four or five years. And they've been one of the powerhouses in years gone by in Union. Not too good in the league, but the Union, they won it three years in a row. Had a great team in those days. So the ball's in. Big push again. Big push by the Panthers. But TKB is holding them. Ball's out wide. Long ball, oh, the cover's come across and cleaned him up. Slow ball, not what you need, that's a forward pass. 25 metres out, the Panthers love this sort of stuff, he's lost the ball. There's a knock on. 25 metres out. It should be a Panthers scrum and feed. And I think both of these teams will be happy to get it off the field for half time. The coaches will have a chat to them. And I think you'll see the Panthers really open up in the second half. They haven't had a lot of ball. They haven't had many penalties. It's all been going the red jumpers way. But there's too many stars out there in the black and whites. And you can't hang on to them for 80 minutes. James Nan's the halfback, the little fella. Nice boy from Arjitaki. It's in. Big push from the Reds. But the Panthers have come up with the ball. This is Jojo's put a big kick in. The fullback's after it. Well caught. He's dancing around, but you're not going to beat him that way. They've got hold of him. There's nobody in support. That should be a penalty to the Panthers because... Oh... Oh, that's a bad call. He was the first man in. He was on his feet. He was over the ball. And I don't think that was a good call by the referee. But I'm not a referee. Junior, don't worry about it, son. So the Reds got the ball 40 metres out from their own try line. That was a clean tackle. He stood up and got over the ball, but wasn't good enough. There's some tired roosters out there in the red jumpers. And they'll be looking forward to the half-time break. This is a chance for the Pampers to try and pinch a ball here. Oh, that's gone forward. Ah. <laughs> I must be in my old age. I'm going blind because that come off two red players and went forward, but I'm not a referee. But oh. Another penalty to the red team. And the black and whites are getting very frustrated. But the referee's the referee. And they'll kick for goal. Right in front, 30 metres out. But you can see on the TV that that went from one red player to another one and went forward and they still play on. All the black players all complained about it, but they're not getting the results. But you've got to play to the whistle. <laughs> There's a lot of heavy breathing going on out there. It's hot, it's humid. And this is their first game for a long time. There's a lot of heavy breathing going on out there. But I can see the frustration in the Panthers players. But this should be an easy kick. Right in front. But Danny's a good mate of mine, the man kicking the ball. 
But if he's got a weakness in his game, it's the kicks right out in front because he's got this natural curve on his ball. And I've seen him lose, miss many in front where you would just assume it'd be an easy kick. I don't put the mocker on him. Moves in. Up he goes. Beautiful kick right down the middle. So it's 7-6. The Panthers are still in front. But it's like the All Blacks. The F Fijians played well in the first half, but they couldn't withstand them in the second half, and I think you'll find that's going to happen here. And the Panthers have had no ball, and they've had no luck. Johnny, Johnny, you'll be a good referee one day, son. Off they go, nice high kick. And they've come up with a ball. And here's trouble. Here's trouble. And they're in off the kickoff. And that's what the Panthers can do to you. Big high kick, took the ball. And they're under the post. So that's 12 6. And that's just tiredness from the red team. And I think that's what the second half's going to be all about. I hope not, but that's the way I read the game. So it's 12 6 kick in front and our live stream's still not working and I apologise and Dave apologises. Dave's been working like, uh, I can't say that because it's racist, but he's been working like a, a terrier to try and get the live stream up, but it's just not working at the moment. But we'll be at half time soon. We'll have a few minutes and he might be able to get something going for us. But we'll be doing the live streams every week. That's over. So it's 14 6. And uh, that's Jojo, the kicker. And uh, hopefully if we don't get it working today, we'll get it working tomorrow for next week. But if you want to watch it, you can always click on to Bucket TV live stream because the replay will be there, but it's just not going out as a live stream. But you can see the Reds are just, they're looking for the half-time break. There's not a lot of life in their legs. High kick. Tom's got the ball. Tom's a good footballer. He's hard man and he spins. And they're over the top. <coughs> Bit of pushing and shoving. The Panthers, are go the Panthers are going to make this into a game. He fell all over him. So I don't know what the referee's ruling, but I think it's going to be a a red ball. Oh, I don't know. You work the singles out. I don't know what they mean. But it's going to be a penalty to the red team. Tom's asking. All I could see was number 22 laying on top of everybody. There's a lot of frustration coming into the game. But they need a break at half time just to settle them down. And the coach for the Panthers, Darren, is good at that. He will set them, settle them down. And here comes, on his day, he's a 10 out of 10 kicker. He's a great little bloke, and his brother was the, the big fella having a query with the referee. Thomas, Thomas and Daniel are ex-Sea Eagle boys. They started there when they were four or five, and they've stayed and stayed, but they've both moved on now. And Tom's playing the best football of his career and hopefully it'll happen for Danny too. But this is a bad side for Danny, this one. He's got that natural curve on his kick and it always goes to the left. So he's going to have to try and straighten the kick out. They've got all these pan for ball boys everywhere. In their purple and white singlets, they look good. I feel sorry for...
Danny's mum and dad, they're here, Honeybee and, and the mum, because they've got a cheer for Danny and then they've got a cheer for Tom and they're getting it both ways. Very deliberate kicker, Danny. Moves in, but that's what I mean. He's got that natural curve on the ball. He didn't hit it well either, but that's his natural swing and it's not, it doesn't work on the right-hand side. Long ball. They got hold of him. Look at the Panthers in. They were calling for a penalty. They're going to kick it out. Oh, he's lost the ball, but regained it. They're just going to kick it out. So it's half time. We'll be back shortly and hopefully, oh no, it's a penalty. Sometimes I just can't follow what goes on here. They kicked it out, so I'm sure they're going to just kick it out and end the first half. That's it. So we go to Oranges and we'll be back shortly. We can get the live stream going. The sun's starting to go down. And the Pampers are ready to go, and I'm sure Darren's had a big talk to them. And the Reds are kicking off. But we'll see what's going to happen. But I know Darren would tell the Panthers to settle down, stop worrying about the frustration, about the calls that's going against them, and just play football. Pass the ball around, wait till the gap comes, and then back the players up. But it'll be interesting to just see how the um, TKB handle the second half because they haven't played football for a long time. A lot of pressure on them. It's a proud club. And we'll see how it all turns out. But I just want to thank our sponsors, Cook Island General Transport, and of course, Bucket TV and Dave Rufa and his uh, FM station 89.5 on the FM dial. Up it goes, a high kick. It's a good kick, being picked up. They're hard to pick up, those kicks. It's sp spiralling in the air. And there it comes, the big kick. That's Jojo. And it's out. So he's outside the 25, so it's not a good kick. So we're going to have a line out red ball I think you start seeing the Panthers trying to spoil trying to spoil no, it's just right. oh, yeah, yeah. part of the game no but it's alright because it's an outside broadcast all right? no worries you might even be better at it than me yeah I, I do sometimes here goes the Panthers, the ball's out wide. Here's trouble coming, here's trouble coming, and he's off. Look out, goodbye, ta-ta, see you later. And that's the problem with the Panthers. You make a mistake, and they'll put it down underneath the arches. And it's a great start for the Panthers, and the coach will be happy about that. And that's the trouble, if you don't make the tackles on these Panther players, they will burn you. And that's just brilliant. PGN football. So that makes it 19 6, the kick to come right in front. And JoJo had a bad day at the office last week, but today they're putting them all underneath the post so he sh should get his confidence back. That's 19 6, kick to come. And you can see in the background, Arbitu's warming up, and at the other end it'll be Ararung, and that'll be a cracking game too. And that's over. That's 19 21 6. And I think there's more to come. That's all right, though. Well, some ladies next to me, and they think they're interfering with our broadcast. But when you do outside broadcasting, you get a lot of that sort of thing. And normally it's blokes, and they're swearing and cursing and. Ladies are nice. 
they say, oops, sorry. And I think that might bust up um, TKB's, uh, they're thinking about the start of a game because they've scored straight off the kickoff. And the same kick up in the air. And they've got to cover it up again, out wide. And here they come again, the kick over the top. And it's going to be a pan for ball. If he comes up with it, he's knocked it on. That's a knock on. But he come off his chest and went forward. And it's on the halfway mark. And that's the excitement machine, Panisi or Ben, or as I call him, he's a friend of mine, the Fijian racehorse. And if he gets a break like that, he might as well sit next to me and let him just run underneath the post. So it's a red ball right on the halfway mark, scrums going down. And I think you'll find the Panthers will put a big push on here to try and take advantage of the early score in the second half. Binds the call, sets the call, balls in. The red scrum's been really good in the game. They've held. The Panthers now got a big push on, but the, pan, uh, the, the reds come up with the ball. But they just can't get away from these Panthers. They can cover them up very quickly, and there's nobody in there. It's going to be a, oh, gosh. There was nobody there to pick the ball up. The Panther man's gone around the side, picked it up. And he's ruled him offside. So you guys understand Union better than me, but you shouldn't get penalised for that. I don't think. But I'd like to know the penalty count. They're going to go for the corner. And uh, TKV's not out of this game. If they can get us come up with a score here, they can get back into the game as 21-6. Seven points would bring them back into the game. But the Penrith online defence has always been one of their best points. So we've got a line out coming up. And Panthers will try and pinch this ball. So with 20 metres out, it's a red line out throw. Up they go, up they go, and it's been thrown over the top. But that had to be forward, because he had to run forward to get the ball. And that's a bad move from the TKV. So now we're going to have a scrum. It's going to be a pan for ball. Oh, no, another line out. John Varno's throwing in. Up they go. Tom, don't miss them. Brought the ball down. Here's trouble. It's down the middle. They're over the ball, the Panthers. They should come up with a ball. Here's trouble coming. The big run down the middle. They got the ball back. Pick and go. Pick and go. They're all over it, the Panthers. They want a quick ball. They've got plenty of blokes out wide. It's an advantage to the black and whites. And the fullbacks put it down. It's a penalty. So it's 40 metres out from the Panthers try line. They're going for the sideline. There's a panther dead on the ground. Looking at the legs, I think it's Izzy. There it goes, the ball's not out. Oh, great tackle, great tackle. Now he's over the ball. That, see, ah. Uh, that, mate, that's a slow call. That, that man should have got the penalty straight away. Tackled the ball, let him go, was over the top. And it's taken the referee 10 minutes to get there. And now the Reds complaining. But it's the right call, but it should have happened 10 minutes before. And that hasn't gone out. It's gone dead. Holy smoke. 
we're going back down the street we went last week with a lot of mistakes. I think you'll find the Panthers will put another big push on here. And the Reds are wilting under the pressure, in my opinion. They've done well for their first game. And here comes Izzy, slow to get there. Your players to burn, the Panthers. And they train. And the club's attitude is you don't train, you don't play first grade. They've got another flyer on the bench. He hasn't been training, Carve, and he's electric too. He probably won't get a game. Red ball, thin, big push by the Panthers. And they got it out. Big kick. That's a bad. They've let it bounce the Panthers. It's over the halfway mark. Forty-five metres out from the Pampers try line, and you've only got to look at the Reds getting to the line out. They're just dawdling along, and I don't think they're too fit. And I think you'll find the old heads in the Pampers will say, "Let's put the pressure on them and start pushing them around and make them run." And that's when you bust teams up. So we've got a line out. Looks like it's a Panther throw. Just over the halfway line in the Panthers territory. Up they go. They've got the ball. It's been brought down. And then, uh, there's a penalty from the line out on just short of a halfway mark. So that's going to put the Panthers on attack probably 25, 30 metres out. And they've got some very good set plays that they can run from tap penalties. Great kick. Great kick. So they're 25 metres out. Twenty-five meters out. Up they go, up they go, up they go. Short ball. Terrible throw. I thought this would turn into a cracking game in the second half, but it's just going backwards. They've kicked it. The one thing I know you can't do against the Panthers is kick the ball loose like that. It's got all these fellas down the back that can run like racehorses. And they put the kick in, and it's back to where it come from. He's going to kick it again. I ain't going to win this battle. Here goes trouble. They're off. Oh, ben, ben made up his mind where he was going to go and he forgot to catch the ball. They're on the halfway mark. So we're right on the halfway line. That's where the referee's standing on, that dark mark in the grass. That's the halfway line. Scrum. Red ball. You can hear the calls. The Panthers pushing and pushing. Great push from the Panthers. And they've come up with a ball. But 
Paletti tried to do it all himself. Number 13, good bloke, Samoan. He was the Panther Player of the Year last year. And he's a 100% player. So we've got a line out. It's a red ball. He's a, he's a uh, Nartinia player in there. Bad, fr been well picked up. They're standing still. The Reds passing the ball. Oh, here they go again. They're playing with foes. Knocked it on. They're playing with fire, kicking down the back with these CGNs. But that one's come up the Reds' way. You just don't kick to the strength of another team. But it's just the game's meandering along at the moment. We need the, the Reds or the Black and Whites to take control of the game and give the public something to cheer about because there's a big crowd in here. It's a beautiful afternoon, Saturday afternoon in sunny downtown Rarotonga. And Malcolm Sword and his team at Cook Island General Transport, we thank you for your support. And I'd like to give a bit of credit to t &M Contracting or t &M Heather and his crew because this ground is in fantastic order. And Bucker TV and Dave and 89.5 on the FM dial. It's scrum going down and the referee's not happy. A lot of movement in the scrum. He's gone to the blind side. But I think the longer you hold these scrums, the worse they're going to get. The idea is you watch the All Blacks, they put the scrum down, they get the ball straight in and straight out. He's obviously not happy with the two front rowers on the blind side. Ball's in. And the Panthers have put a big push on again. The ball squirted out. Great tackle. He's over the ball. And the girls are yelling out, take him out. There's another bad pass. To the Reds are just not going anywhere. 25 metres out. They're over the ball, the Panthers. Oh, 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 good front on tackle. The Panthers come up with the ball. And here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. Here's the racehorse. They just got hold of him, but he's up. He's down. He's got the ball away. That's Junior. He squirted out the ball. That CO picked it up. And CO's not a halfback. And there's another mistake. So we've got a scrum going down. And it's getting a little bit untidy. I thought it'd be a lot better this half, but it's just not working at the moment. They've got a scrum going down 45 metres out from the Pampers try line. And they're putting a lot of pressure on the red team and if they keep doing that, they're going to wear them out. The Reds have done really well for their first game. I think it's five years since they've played. So they've done all right. And there's a lot of veterans out there and a lot of young fellas and they can turn, in, turn themselves into a good team as long as they keep training. And that's our biggest problem here. Uh, the Panthers' attitude is you don't train, you don't play first grade, you sit on the bench, no matter who you are. And that's how it should be. Big push from the Reds. They're holding their ground. They're holding their ground. Big push. Big push. Advantage to the Reds. <coughs> They're offside, the backline players for the Panthers. So they're 40 metres out with a penalty. They'll kick for the sideline. It's been a battle. I said it last time, they'll be better next week. But I hope I don't have to keep saying that because they should be, they've had a game, they should be spot on, the Panthers. 
Ball's up. It's out. 20 metres out. Got a line out. You get a good shot on the camera here. Number 22, he's a Murray man. Mulu, I think his name is. Veteran. Up they go. They're getting pushed around. Oh, terrible throw. Terrible throw. There's a knock on, but I don't think it was straight. There's a replacement coming on. We've got another game after this. Come on, Muda. Big throw, great take. Tom's always the recipient. Big run down the middle that the TKB's all over the ball. They're scrapping for the ball. The Reds are trying to get the ball back. But it's a black and white ball. And the forwards are there, but there's nobody with him. They're over the top, the Panthers, 30 metres out. They're going back. They're going to put the kick in. Long, long kick to the side. And there's some Panthers chasing. And he's picked it up on the foot, but it's gone out. Just couldn't control the... The way the ball went, but they've made 60 metres with that kick and they're 25 metres out. It's going to be a red line out and throw. We'll have to wait for the players to get down there and I can understand it. It's very hot and very humid. It's probably even 28 or 29 at the moment. Very humid. Slow march, slow, slow march. You can understand it. It's TKV's first game, the Panthers' second game. The Panthers are the defending champions and you would think they'd do a little bit better than what they are. That's an early jump. Normally that should be a penalty. He went up before the ball was even ready to go. Here we go again, replay, replay, up they go, black ball, out they come, here comes the Flyers, oh he's put the ball down, it's gone back, oh, Rafferty's rules out there, they're generating into a bad game this one, they're just standing there and running the ball. Just see what the referee calls. I'm getting very disinterested at the moment. It's just a, a whistle of fun. I come to watch running rugby and I'm w watching running whistling. Scrum's going down 25 metres or 22 metres out from the Reds' try line. The Panthers, as good as they are, they should be monstering the red team. It's a red ball. Out it comes. They chase Daniel to the side. He's put a kick in. And he's not, he's not afraid to kick the ball to these fellas. Look at the speed of this man. Past four or five players, five or six, put a kick over the top. And he's probably going to get to the ball. And it's a great try. Gosh, that... That's what I come to see. But the red team's just standing there watching it. And I don't blame them. If I was out there, I'd be watching it too because that was impressive. But that's what the Panthers can do to you when they put a little bit of imagination into the game. And Junior was the main part of that. And the Reds are shot ducks. And their goose is being cooked. 
and they should be proud of what they've done, but they've got to try and finish it off. What do you got for the score, Dave? What's the score? 27 6, is it? 26 6, my man tells me. In he goes, up it goes, no problems. Sun's gone down. It's setting in the um, the west, and um, our next game's going to be played in twilight. And it'll be a cracking game. It's Arbutu against Arangi. No love lost, and they're our second and third best team. But this is the team you got to beat: the Black and Whites. And they're a great club. So we've got the Reds kicking off. And the one thing the Reds have done wrong is they keep kicking down to the back of the black and white jumpers. And that's where all the stars are. And the star, you're going to get them once, but the stars are going to burn you all the time. They just link up. They talk in Fiji and that's out on the fall. And they just burn you. And I don't think you can stop the Panthers when they're in full flight. We've seen them just run away with a competition. I wish we could get some good teams from New Zealand over here to play them to see how good they really are. So we've got a scrum going right on the halfway mark. It's going to be a black and white feed. They'll set their players up on both sides. It'll depend where the ball goes. But we play these double headers over there. We've only got four teams, but they're a great success because you're seeing the four teams every week. You can go home and you say, oh, I've seen the four teams. Ball's out. Here they go. Ball on the inside. Here's trouble again. Here's trouble again. He's off for the corner. And he's just too fast. That's embarrassing. And now you know why I call him the Fijian racehorse. Set move, come back on the inside, off they go. And the winger on this side, Carve, is just as quick, but they're not giving him the ball. And you can see the Reds are very disappointed, but they should hold their head up. It's their first game for five years, I think it is, and they've done well. But this is a hot team, this Panther team, and to beat them, you've got to be a pretty good team. Arbitu has tried everything to beat them. Belt them up, push them around, scrag them, but the Panthers keep coming up with the wins. And they've been a real force in this island for the last 10 years. This is the hardest kick he's had, but the easy kicks should set him up because he's had some easy kicks. Should have a bit of confidence about him. He's on the sideline. Very dejected, the TKV, but they shouldn't be. They've done well. As I said at the start of the second half, you've got to be a super team to hold the Panthers because this is when they're good. Up in the air, up in the air, it's across the front. Never even made the try line. But it's not going to make any difference to the score. I just like to see the ball come out of this right hand wing and you see Carve in full flight because he's a great runner, beautiful strider, but he doesn't train and he's got a problem and everybody knows what that is because they're just so good they don't think they've got to train but it's the bad attitude.
Another high kick. They've got to do something about the kicks. They just can't keep kicking to these blokes. There's a big, long kick out on the full. I oh, know. It's on the halfway mark. But it's just money for jam, these blokes kicking to these fellas down the back. But I think the game's done and dusted, and let's hope we can get the next game on very quickly because it's going to get very dark very soon. And this is the first uh, break in the weather we've had. We've had three days of sunshine, which has not, not been happening lately. We've had a lot of rain. Red ball. Oh, that's not even straight. That's, you know, like, I, I must be silly. The camera was right on the halfway line. You could see the ball going down the red side, and it's play on. Well, you know, like, I don't mind the referee being wrong now and then, but that's just bad. Uh. Tom's very dejected. Tom's a lovely bloke. He don't complain about too much and you can see him getting frustrated. So we've got a line out 40 metres out from the Pampers try line and the pan uh, the TKB are even having trouble with their line outs to retain the ball. So see how they go. Let's hope they can finish with a bit of a flourish for their supporters. In goes the ball, short throw, not straight. And it went to number one or number two, so that's how frustrated they must be. Now it's a black and white ball in the line out. They'll probably go to one or two too. Up they go, long down the back. Long ball out wide. Here they go, the Panthers down the middle. They need the forwards to get over the ball. And they're running in pairs, great straight through the middle, the Panthers. Great defense from the Reds. Here's trouble coming, here's trouble coming. Oh. Two has put it down. You see these blokes making mistakes. They never make mistakes, but it just hasn't been their day. So we've got a scrum going down 30 metres out from the TKB try line. That's a TKB ball. Scrum and feed. So let's hope, and I don't mean this in a bad way, let's hope the game's over very shortly and we get the next team on. Because this game is done and dusted. They should have a mercy rule. Red ball, good solid. Their scrum's been terrific, the Reds. Here's a Oh, here's trouble, the ball's going backwards. They just go from one spot to another. So we've got a scrum going down, 20 metres, 25 metres out from the Reds' try line. That's a black and white ball. It's in the middle of the ground and this is where they're good, these Panthers. They've got speedsters on both sides, but they've just got to catch the ball. This winger's out here, so I would imagine they're going to kick to him. He's rubbing his hands. He expects to get the ball if it comes to the right. No, there's nothing of him, but gosh, he's quick. That's quite unusual, like the red halfback kicked the ball away. And I don't think that's in the rules.
They want a good solid scrum, the Panthers. They want a good clean ball. It's going to come to the right. They're off. He's through. 15 metres out. You've got to get the man on the ground. 10 metres out. Quick ball out wide. They're over the top, the Panthers. They're just playing with the Reds. Just playing with them. So, we'll put this down to a win to the Panthers and they're in front in the comp, even with the for and against, because the Eels are going to play next, they're undefeated, but they've got no for and against because they won on a forfeit last week. And they're playing Arangi and they got beat. So they're on zero points. So we're watching our leaders at the moment and Takavani will be on zero points also. So let's ring the full-time bell and let's get the next team on. And they're ready to go. Obviously, our players are going to get better as the uh, weeks roll on. And see, the other problem for our players here, like a couple of these blokes got here late because they work. They don't earn big money, but they've got to work because they've got family to feed. And it's all about money in the pocket. Up it goes. And it never looked like kicking. Never looked like kicking it. So, hopefully, the bell will be rung. We'll walk off and get the next game on. We've got a new referee in the next game, Holly. He's a union referee specialist from New Zealand. And they tell me he's a... Oh, and that's beautiful. That's it. Let's get him off and we'll be back shortly for the next game. 